a treat for you now. And usually at this time, we would be crossing to Fred for a dose of our daily dinage. However, tonight we've got something different as we end the series. So let's take a look. At last. Sangeeta. Fred, it's been ages. Months and months and months after years spent side by side. Fred, you and I have been presenting together on ITV News Meridian for 11 and a half years. 11 and, we, and a half, very happy years. Very happy years, but we've never been apart no. for this long. No, it's, it's been really, really, really tough, you know. It's been tough for everyone, of course, but, you know, when you have to go into self-isolation, you can't see your family anymore, you can't see your grandchildren. It's, and honestly, millions of people, of course, all over the country have been in the same situation. It's been, it's been really hard, this lockdown, and I know you've, you've found it tough too. I've found it tough because I've been coming into work every day because we wanted to make sure that our viewers had familiarity. I was obviously presenting the show every night, but as you know, I'm a carer. Uh, my baby brother has got cerebral palsy. He's also got severe autism and day centres are shut. So like so many people, carers, parents, you know, I've been doing the whole thing at home before going into work each day. So it's not been easy for anyone, has it? Our viewers have been through so much. Some of them have lost loved ones, family because of the coronavirus. A lot of our older viewers in particular have been all on their own for months and months and months. There have been casualties. We've lost a dear colleague, of course, Chris Barrett, one of our producers and a dear, dear friend. Lovely, Chris. Some of our viewers out of work, others with financial problems. It's been a really difficult time. So to try and help our viewers through that, it's been a real privilege. Yeah, we wanted the program to keep going. We wanted mm. it to have familiarity, and that's why it was great to see you every single day. But, you know, for you, it must have been really hard, though, because you're a journalist. You know, you've been broadcasting for nearly six decades. And this has been definitely the biggest story that I remember. It must be the biggest story that you remember. Oh, absolutely. I shall never forget that day when the boss said to me, you, because of your age, you have to go home and you have to stay at home. And I was absolutely heartbroken. I really was, because I'm... I felt as a journalist I should be there with you telling this incredible story and I got home and I'll be, I'll be honest I was really really down and then I thought well I've still got to be involved with the program and the production team came up with this idea of a nice happy news type feature at the end of the program you came up with the title your daily dinage it's been terrific and the viewers have loved it news didn't stop over that time so much has happened as well in the news not just stories to do with the pandemic but no we've had the awful attacks in reading where three friends sitting in the forbury gardens lost their lives um the death of somebody that you knew very well dame virulin, dame virulin yes wonderful wonderful lady and uh, you know i'm privileged to say a friend of mine as well but i think itv meridian's coverage and and, and your presentation has been absolutely brilliant for these past few months it really has public service broadcast at its best really and I'm just so pleased that I've been able to take part a little quiz for you Sangeeta how many daily dining slots do you think there have been in the last four months oh I know that you have hardly missed any so I think every time we had a show bar the bank holidays you would have done one so maybe 70 plus 70 indeed 163 birthdays we've mentioned 13,877 years in total wow. <laughs> 87 wedding anniversaries 4,820 years wed nine of our viewers married over 70 years it goes on and on and on it's been wonderful oh do you know what every single day when we did that little section i love seeing all those pictures and especially as they were then and how yes. they are now yes. it's just so charming yeah and then there was a real other highlight that we had in the daily dinage slots not just one of your dogs but three of your fabulous dogs how that happened i don't know but i suddenly got the idea of using our dog and one of them in particular, Dave Dinage, became an absolute celebrity and, and uh, the viewers absolutely loved him. Come on, Dave. I've come to see you, Sangeeta. Oh, I'm so Dave. excited. Oh, look at them. So, Fred, I've done 15 weeks on the trot. Yes. So the big question is, when do you fancy coming back to work? <laughs> I'm just going to have a couple of weeks with the family because we've not seen each other much at all. I shall be back, Sangeeta, God willing, on Monday, August the 3rd, and you can have a nice little break. And in the meantime, if you hold Isabella... Oh, I'd love to. I'm going to pour Izzy. you something. Oh, you know me so well, Fred. You Rather know me so well. sparkling. Are you ready? Oh, always ready. <laughs> you haven't got a free hand, of course. <laughs> Thank you, darling. There you go. That's for you. And this is for me. And it's to wish you health and happiness and be lovely to see you again soon. To you, Fred, and to our viewers. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for your support. 
Cheers, Fred. And then I can have a haircut. And uh, Fred will be sitting here very soon. Not long to wait now.